Hi guys, it's Chill Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. So today I was filming a video for people with dry skin, just giving them like tips and tricks or my tips and tricks to kind of better enhance my skin when it's really, really dry. And I noticed I had never really done like a video on just concealers for dry skin. I kind of went on like a little rant during the video and I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna film this right after because I have like a fresh thought in my head of those concealers that I really know that are gonna help you. Even if you don't have dry skin, this concealer should just really, really creamy, super full coverage and just great all together but I do really recommend these with people with dry skin so that's why I you know titled this video this way so I really hope that you guys enjoy this video I really hope that I'm giving you recommendations that you haven't really heard before or just give you recommendations that actually do work for you so let's go ahead and get started I'm kind of gonna be going um, giving you a rundown of all the products that I think are great for dry skin and then I'm gonna like kind of swatch them for you guys so you guys can see like the different in texture and in shades as well so I'm gonna start with just the drugstore products first just because I think it's gonna be a little bit easier um, the first one that I want to mention is this one from flower beauty this one is a light illusion full coverage concealer I do really really like this one this one is like extremely 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 creamy what i love about this one too is like the wand is just really easy to apply and i just think it's a really really great product i do feel like the shades of this one are a little bit off though like i'm going to show you guys i'm going to just swatch it right here this one is the shade um light and i just feel like it's a little bit too yellow to be light but also like too light i don't know like i feel like the shades next to that one are just not something that i would like that would work for me so the shades kind of threw me off but overall i mean the, cons the consistency of this concealer is just really really great um i don't think this one is full coverage even though some people really really like say that this one is full coverage i think this one for me is just more like a medium just because i can still see like the darkness speaking through if i don't color correct under my eyes but i really do like like the formula of this i feel like it looks really really stunning under your eyes and it really brightens up everything so i think it's a great great concealer so the next one over is actually a little bit cheaper than that i think this one is about six dollars this is the la girl pro conceal high definition concealer and i have two shades i have natural and i have creamy beige these are so amazing like guys you don't need anything else but this these are just really really great the only thing i hate about them and it's like a really big thing that i hate is the applicator like there's no way of making this work um the one i just swatched is natural which is the one that i use the most because creamy beige is just a tad bit too dark for me but i'm going to show you how it looks like anyway so yeah like i said you kind of like squeeze these it's like a little squeezy tube but you either don't get any product or you get way too much and then you don't know what to do with it. So that's something that I don't really like about it. But I feel like as far as shades, it's really, really great. I love using these for contour as well. So it's just a really, really great product and super inexpensive. I really like the creamy beige shade just because it's a little bit more like peachy. But you can see natural is a little bit more like coral. So if you do want to like coral correct under your eyes, it's just a really good, great thing. This one I think is a, has a lot of coverage. And I don't think it's the most creamy one, but it's definitely not like a dry concealer. Um, it's just a very, very comfortable wear. And I just think it looks really, really amazing like for either photo shoots. I've seen this like on bridal makeup and it just looks really, really stunning. And I've used this on myself as well, obviously for really like glam makeup as well. And it just really holds up and just looks stunning throughout the night. It doesn't really crease on me, which I think is something that I really appreciate. And I love pairing this with the foundation, with the Pro Matte Foundation. It just looks amazing. So the next ones that I wanna mention are the Juvia's Place Concealers. And I have, I'm actually just gonna mention these two. These ones are the I Am Magic Concealers. And I have two shades, I have 18 and 19. So first, the first one is 19 because they kind of go from like higher to the lowest number. So these ones are really, really great. I think they're a little bit more expensive than the other ones that I have, that I just mentioned. And I have, this one is a shade 19. And as you guys can see, it's just really, really light. And then there's a really big jump between these two shades, which is something that it like blows my mind just because this one is so warm compared to how light this one is. Like, do you guys see that? All these shades do fit me just depending on like how tan I am and just what time of the year it is. 
but this one is just really really close to my skin and I like mixing the two I feel like that makes it so much better but the coverage of the Juvia's Place concealer is just really really nice I don't think it's full coverage but I really really love using the contour shade which the one the one I use is number nine this is my favorite thing to use for cream contour along with the Alma Beauty double stick but this one is just amazing I really love that concealer for more like contouring the face but it's just a really nice concealer for under the eyes I just think that it looks a little bit too ashy on me but overall it's just really creamy has really good you know nice coverage and I just think it's a great option. So I wanted to mention that. The next one I have is from CoverGirl. And this one is a recent lunch. This one is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I have this one in the shade Buff Beige. And I think this is a great concealer. I honestly love the wand just because this one is so much like the Shape Tape. And if you guys love the Shape Tape, this is actually a really good do for it. I think it's just a great, great concealer. It has honestly amazing coverage and I just think it looks really really great so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it like I said this one is the shade true beige which is just a little bit too light for me but I think it really works and it's just a really nice way to like brighten my under eyes and just make everything look really nice I love contouring my nose with this I feel like it just looks so amazing so this is how the concealer looks and I want to show you guys the wand compared to the tart just because it is honestly the same thing you guys can see right there like how the wand is just basically the same Tarte Shape Tape wand and it's just really nice like an app as an applicator it just like makes it really easy to just go under your eyes and then I like blending this out with a sponge and it's just like the perfect so the next one I have mentioned on my favorites video I really really do recommend these products and they're just really amazing I feel like this brand is not very like recognized or known but it's just a really really great product this ones are the Mora Beauty Mega Concealer they're waterproof and full coverage I haven't tested the waterproof yet I do want to do a video kind of testing out all of my waterproof products but these ones are definitely the most one of the most full coverage concealers that I do have and they I think they're under $12 I think so I have the shade 200 which is this one right here and 200 I use when I'm like when I want to do something like really really light just because it is about three shades lighter than my foundation shade and then I have the shade 2.50 which is like almost my skin color so like I said when I have like such a change like this um, a drastic change I do like to like mix it in um, together so I do like to mix it in together and this one like cancels out kind of like the darkness under my eyes and it's just it has the best coverage like I love using this when I don't want to use a lot of foundation I kind of like put this on the areas that I want to cover it up and I just go about my day and it's just really really great it holds up all day and it like barely creases on me it kind of has like a little bit of a sticking consistency but I just think it's really amazing if you guys haven't tried it definitely do so so I have another one from the drugstore and this one is a recent find this one is a ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer and I actually did a dupe video for this one comparing it to the two first born this way and it held up guys it looks so nice the only thing with this one is I think I have it on the wrong shade just because it is a little bit too light for me this one is a shade light 45 warm and I will show it to you guys this one is a little bit more dry than all the other ones, so I don't think that this is the most creamy concealer, but it's still really, really creamy. It's not like super drying. It's just that I'm so used to using like super creamy concealers that I think this is not as creamy. But the, the applicator of this one is just really, really nice. I feel like the shade range of it is really nice as well. So you can see it right there. And obviously the price of ColourPop, you can't beat it. It's just so amazing. I did try out like their previous concealer and it was honestly a flop for me. It just didn't work. But this one, they have improved it so, so much. So if you are a ColourPop lover, if you like their products and if you want to just, you know, support the brand and try it out, definitely do so. I wasn't such a fan of the pretty, um, of the tinted moisturizer, but... I really really loved the concealer so I think I have one more for drugstore and this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer I have this one in the shade medium sand so this is how it looks like right there I do want to show you guys the applicator because it's just a really really nice applicator like I said this one is also a doe foot applicator just like this shape tape and I just feel like a lot of people will like this one um, this one I have in a really really light shade just because like I'm telling you guys like brands just jump around with shades and like if you think you're creamy beige or creamy buff in anything, don't think that beige and buff is going to be the same thing in everyone's mind. Apparently that's like not a known thing, but 
I am usually buff and beige and this one is creamy beige and that is very very light. So I think this that's the reason why this makes it look a little bit ashy under my eyes just because the shade is the wrong shade. But overall this is really nice concealer. It has really really great coverage and I really do recommend it. Love the applicator of this one and I think this is about seven or eight dollars so it's can't go wrong with this one. I honestly have found so many drugstore products or so many drugstore concealers that are just as great or if not better than the concealers that I've found at Sephora or even at Ulta. And I just think there's a lot of things that you guys have to like pay attention to because there's so many good stuff coming out at the drugstore that is just like really challenging these bigger companies. And now I don't feel the need to like go out and spend so much money anymore. Like So now I'm gonna start with the high end ones and these ones are just things that I have loved for a long time. The first one that I have is a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one I have in the shade Light Medium and Medium. And I mentioned before in one of my videos that I was just waiting for these to like be done. Like I was waiting to like empty them out. But I have like recently rediscovered, rediscovered it and like I fell in love with it again. And now I really, really think that I would probably repurchase it. So I'm going to be just swatching just one of them. So it's this one right here. That's light medium just because a lot of people like everyone's familiar with shape tape I don't have to go and spend all my time talking about this one people know that it is amazing and it's just something that a lot of people you know compare anything that's good to just because it works it works really great so the next one that I have is actually my favorite concealer ever this is by far my favorite concealer like I cannot live without this. This is a Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting concealer. And like as so you can see, I have three shades just because I love it so much. Like if I am going somewhere where I have to be top notch, full glam, nothing can go wrong, I would go with this or either the Tarte Shape Tape just because I love it a lot. I just find that the Tarte Shape Tape sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes creases on me and this one just never does me wrong. It is a perfect amount of creaminess under the eyes. It just like evens everything out. I love the shade range even though I kind of have to jump around. Sometimes I have the shade Nude which is a little bit too light for me. I have light beige and then I have golden beige. So Nude I don't really use a lot unless it's the winter time. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one away. I love this shade. It's so amazing. And then I have golden beige which is very very close to my skin tone and this one I'm almost running out of because it's the one that I use the most so I love using like things that are very close to my skin tone that way I can like just use that and then maybe apply like a tiny bit little bit of foundation just because I don't like wearing a lot of makeup on a regular basis so but yeah those are great they just have the best coverage the wand you can beat it and like it's really really full coverage and it's, it's gonna make your makeup last all day I have to say I don't know if that claims to be waterproof but I have been like splashed with water while wearing it and it holds up for hours and hours on end and it's just amazing. So I think it is a little bit expensive. Obviously you can find some other things that work just as great as on the ones that I mentioned from the drugstore, but it's just really, really great, really great. Next one over is something that I really love. It's a Jouer concealer. This one is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer and it's supposed to be creaseless, soft matte, and it's infused with hyaluronic acid. I really, really love this one for a while. This was one, was one of my favorites, but then I noticed that it doesn't really have as much coverage as I thought it, it did. I mean, it is like a medium coverage, but I just don't think that it is like a full coverage like people claim it to be. And I just, I mean, I love the fact that this is so creamy and I love the fact that this like cancels out my darkness like really really well and it does last a long time on the skin that's it right here so this is a shade creme brulee but i just don't think that it's just i really don't think that it's full coverage and i hate to say that i don't know if it's like me going through a trance because like i said guys this was my ride or die and now i'm like changing my mind about it i kind of like switched back and forth from the Too Faced one this way and the Jouer for a while and i just kind of went back to the Too Faced so it's just a really great option. I don't know why I'm putting it down at all because it is really, really great. I know Kathleen Lights really likes that one. So if, like that is just amazing for dry skin. I will say that. Like if you have dry skin, of all the ones that I'm mentioning, that is probably the best one just because of like how creamy it is under your eyes. And it's just like really like covers up all the dryness under the eyes. So it's really nice. The next one over is the Nabla Close Up Stay Full Smooth Concealer. And I have this one in the shade Cream Beige. I think the shade is a little bit light, but I kind of bought this on a whim. Um, when I was at Pink, what was the store? Uh, I can't remember. I think it was like that Forever 21 makeup store. I, I was in Maryland and I kind of came across it. So I just bought it like out of nowhere. I didn't even know it existed. So you can see that it's really, really light. I kind of have like a really, like a lot of variety of colors in here. 
I guess I never realized it, like putting them all together, how sh shades can change so much because most of them are like, you know, cream, beige, nude, whatever. So I think it's crazy how like brands jump from colors and just finishes undertones so much. I do really like the undertone of this one. I just feel like it's a little bit too light for me. And it's just really, really great. Like if you apply a really full coverage foundation and apply this over top, it will look really, really seamless. And this just works so nice lasts a long time as well so i just really like it but it wouldn't be like my first pick from the whole video to be honest with you but it's just a really really good option like if you are like me if you just like collecting things just to try them out i would really recommend going and trying this out i haven't really tried anything else from nabla this is the first product that i've tried from them so yeah let me know below if you really like this brand i really would like to know more things about it it's just a really really good comfortable concealer and it does have the doe food applicator as well i feel like most of the ones that i mentioned maybe one or two don't have that doe food applicator but yeah the next one I have is another super extremely creamy one. Um, this one is not on my top 10, I would say, but it is like high up there on the ones that I do like. Um, believe it or not, I do have more that I don't like. I know I'm mentioning like a ton, but I do have some that I don't like. This one is the Elma Beauty Woke Concealer, and I have this one in the shade Honey Honey T1. The reason I don't use this as often is because I kind of, their shade range is like really, really weird, and I kind of went with a one that they told me to like the first one over on your category because I fall under honey honey if you're not familiar let me know below and I will explain to you but this one is darker than my skin tone so I think I should have gone over to the last one on the category before me does that make sense to you I hope it makes sense to you but yeah it's a really really nice concealer I just don't get to use it as often just because the shade just really doesn't match me at all and it has like a little bit of olive tone and I just don't have olive in me so um, I do want to mention quickly the Fenty Beauty just because if I ever mention this like I love it you guys are gonna call me out for it but I haven't been using this in a long time just because I felt like something happened like when I started using this a long time ago when I first got it I was like this is amazing I love it has great coverage and then it stopped working I don't know what it was, but it stopped working for me. It just creased so much, like not even three hours after I wore it. So I have two shades, 235 and 210. 210 is a little bit too light, but I like mixing the two of them. But this one is a Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. And I just really, I don't know what happened, guys. I couldn't even explain it to you, but this one is 235 right there, 235. And then 210, like I said, it's a little too light, so I'm not going to swatch it. But those are all the ones that I have. And I just, maybe I'll find myself, like, loving this again. But for now, they're just sitting in my drawer right here until I find what the heck went wrong. Because I used to really, really love that one. And I used to recommend it to a lot of people. But I don't know what happened. I just really stop liking it so that is all the concealers that i have i feel like i've talked for hours i really hope that you find at least one on this video that would like you know inspire you to go ahead and purchase it um if you want more i know i give you like 25 but if you want more suggestions i do have more there's some drugstore ones that i didn't mention that are really really nice like the candid one from revlon but yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and as always please don't forget to subscribe below like this video and i will see you guys on my next one bye